Danny! Hey, Dan! There he is. My nephew, Danny. What are you doing, Don? You're reading a book. What is this? Screenplay? No, no, no. You won't be needing that. Here, let's take a walk, Don. Ah, uh, so, I heard you got into film school, huh? That's great. Well, I hope you're not even considering going. What? You are? Listen to me, Donnie. You, you're a Tonelli, okay? And the Tonellis are not artists. That's not what we do. You know what I do for a living, Don? I scrape gum off people's shoes in Grand Central Terminal for a living. Yeah. I drive every single morning in my pale blue Buick straight from South Jersey to Grand Central Terminal. Sure. Yeah, I had a few artistic dreams when I was your age as well. Modern dance. Up on that stage, doing my plies. <laughs> I guess I felt kind of free. But then I owned up to the fact that I'm a Tonelli, okay? I'm full Tonelli. I got Tonelli in my bones, Tonelli in my blood. And that means that I'm a barrel-chested man with the ass of a foreign sailor. You see my ass, Don? Now, take a look at my ass, not now, later, okay? Take a look at my ass. But the fact of the matter is, Don, the men in this family do two things. One, we scrape gum. Two, we dissuade our nephews from doing anything other than scraping gum, okay? So flush this art crap, flush it down the drain, and start scraping gum with me at Grand Central Terminal. What? You think you're different than other Tonelli men? All right, Don, I brought some photos. This should help, okay? Here, here I am, dancing on the New York stage. I used to think that dance was the hidden language of the soul of the body, okay? But then, one day, thank God my Uncle Lewis came knocking on my door. He was eating a big sandwich. He said to me, Boomer, what do you think you're doing? You think you're a hotshot dancer? Your uncle scraped gum off people's shoes in Grand Central Terminal for a living. His uncle scraped gum off people's shoes in Grand Central Terminal for a living. And that guy's uncle, you guessed it, Don, a barrel-chested grum scraper with the ass of a foreign sailor. Lewis waved a sandwich in my face and he said to me, flush this art crap down the drain and start scraping gum off people's shoes in Grand Central Terminal for a living. And then he paused, Don. He paused and he said, sure. I had a few artistic dreams of my own when I was your age. Watercolor impressionistic art. At seven years old, he was already being touted as the next Cezanne, okay? And look, look, here's a picture of Uncle Lewis as Uncle Wally saying, Lewis, there was a time when I wanted to vote my life to macrame wall hangings, but I gave it all up to be a barrel-chested gum striper with the ass of a Filipino sailor, okay? Lewis cried the day he talked to Wally because he remembered the day his dreams had been crushed. He blamed his tears on an allergic reaction to his sandwich. Sorry, Don, I'm just having an allergic reaction to this sandwich, that's all. Anyway, going all the way back to the 1800s, here's your Uncle Jebediah. Jebediah was an urban planner. What? Don't say that, Don. There's a lot of artistry in urban planning. Oh, and look, here's his uncle, Japheth Mitchell, eating a supper, a deviled kidney sandwich. In this picture, he's telling him to go cross the Atlantic and immediately go clean spruce tree gum off the horseshoes at Grand Central Terminal. Don, it goes all the way back to the Stone Age, okay? Do you get that there was a rich tradition in this family of the men giving up their dreams to enter into a Russian nesting doll made of battered nephews? Do you really want to be the one guy who breaks from tradition and shows us all what we could have had? The men in this family have two things to be proud of, Don. Shiny gum scrapers and asses like Hindu sailors from a nearby port. So what do you say, Don? You gonna come scrape gum off people's shoes in Grand Central Terminal with me tomorrow morning? What do you say? Good. Good. boy. Hey. Told you I had the ass of a Portuguese fisherman. And you do too, kid. You do too.